I think there's, what comes under this? Uh, we look at differentiation. And then we have a think about trying to solve equations and graph them and the tools that make that easier. Okay? So for ex instance, one of the things that comes under this is auxiliary angle. What else comes under? Do you remember our advanced tree topic last year? You had a bookmark on it. What else came under this? Do you remember? Um, before, sorry, yeah, before inverse tree, actually. We, we, we dealt with inverse tree on its own, though we will get to that afterwards. I'm just thinking about the review stuff. So there's also T results. Do you remember those? T results. Um, there's general solution. Now, even though that's kind of review, we're going to look at some slightly new stuff under general solution because um, there are questions in the exams I've seen, also in the program, where it's like, okay, you've got a graph. Okay, tell me where all the stationary points are. All of them, right? Not within a specific domain. So since you're asking for all of them, you need to go to general solution for that, right? It's not really that much harder. You're just finding the, um, the general solution for this, so you can deal with that, right? But because it's... Um, stationary points, it looks a little different and you might not be familiar with that. Okay. Anyway, we'll get to those. And then after this, we sort of the more newer stuff, it does relate to inverse tree. So we look at the integration results. Things that functions you integrate and it gets you to um, an inverse tree function. Okay? Or uh, integration where you have to use a substitution and the substitution is a trigonometric result. Something related to that. Okay? So that's where we're headed over the next week or so. So just to review, we're, we're going to start here. And if you came in and got the sheet that um, was on the front desk, you'll see. Okay. So just to get your heads back in the right space, maybe you can put yourself together a little table. And let's see if we can remember these results. Uh, I'm thinking about the six main trick functions, right? The six main ones. So you've got the three basic ones, and then you've got their reciprocals. So, your basic ones are here, and we've done these to death by now, right? So, can you tell me off the top of your head? Derivative for sine is? Cos. Good. Derivative for cos? Minus sine. Derivative for tan? Sec squared. Okay. So, they're all fine, right? But then, when you get to the um, reciprocals, I know they come up less often, but they come up often enough that it's worth actually remembering, rather than going back to... Um, chain rule or quotient rule, that kind of thing. So, sine cos tan, in order, <coughs> their reciprocals are, you look at the third letter for each reciprocal function, so cosec, um, sec, and cot. Okay, now, how do you remember these? Uh, the way I remember them is, with these cosec and sec ones, right, their derivatives are, these two functions multiplied by extra stuff, if you remember those. So, with cosec, I'm going to start by writing cosec. And then it's multiplied by something else. Does anyone remember? It pairs up with cod. It pairs up with cod. Okay? However, um, once you, if you do take um, you know, sine x to the minus 1 and you do chain rule, you end up with a minus sign at the front. Okay? So don't forget that one. It's sort of like sine goes to positive cos x, but when you take the reciprocal, it becomes a negative. Okay? Lots of things to confuse you. Anyway. When I take my other one, sec, again, I start with sec, and then I add another thing. It's sort of like your opposite of this, right? So instead of cot, I'm going to add on tan. Okay, so there's sec. Now, tan x, you differentiate it, you get sec squared, okay? So when you take the reciprocal, what would you expect to get? Cosec squared. It's, it's sort of like, um, these are kind of like partners, if you like. So cot and cosec always go together, you can see that here, and tan and sec always go together. So there's kind of a um, symmetry to it. So even though I actually have a lot of trouble, if you give me one without any context, I have trouble remembering which one it is. But when I have all six there, it's kind of like, oh, I can see which ones match up. Okay? 